Hello everyone and welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 with me, WBF. So welcome to episode 13. Oh, does that mean it's going to be very unlucky? I don't know. Well, I, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of work off screen. Um, now, about this time in the video, I'm going to edit in a bit of a sped up um, sort of period uh, of footage. Um, simply because I did, in fact, buy um, a piece of equipment of which um, I didn't really have no choice of um, simply because um, if you remember at the end of last episode we, uh, we I said I was going to cut down those trees and make it all nice and tidy of which I've done um, but I needed um, a front loader to help tidy up a bit so I bought the small New Holland front loader um, but I did make sure I recorded for you guys to make sure that you weren't missing out on anything um, so by now you should be back um, into now uh, with me and as you can see I've bought a second trailer as well that's to um, speed up the combine fills up half a trailer load in, in one tank which is amazing at the same time as very it, it means we have to work a bit harder to try and keep up with him so um, I decided to buy a second one, especially now that there's a great demand for barley, um, of which I'm now selling the crop. Um, we got about 100 and 120 um, thousand liters, which is almost double what you get with um, OCR, OSR, whatever it's called. Canola, um, and so that's pretty good. Um, once I've uh, emptied this tray load, hopefully we'll be have a look at how much we've got. Um, let's have a look here. We have a little bit there and a little bit in the in the uh, combine, so we might as well go and empty the combine. Um, I haven't moved him back to the um, farm yet, but it's a job we can do now. I need to start using the inside view a bit more. Um, I have noticed that in the recent episodes, I haven't actually been in here very much. Yeah, um, I'm loving this setup and look at the amount of money we have, guys. Oh, it's amazing. Over the last couple of episodes, we have um, roughly each harvest we get 140 to. How much did we get this harvest? 100. That's. Cool. That's over what we normally get. Wow. Um, so, barley, definitely something we're going to carry on with. Um, and today, today. We're buying our new equipment, our bedding technology. Um, I, f I feel it's time we need to, you know, crack on, get on to the the modern day times. Um, we got barley, we got a nice combine. Now it's time to start rooting out and going into baling. It's it's something I'm um, quite excited for. A lot of new equipment um, and. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is our tractor. Is it going to be able to pull um, the baler and the bale chaser? I'm sure that um, probably one of our doits might be able to, but I'm just hoping our tractor will uh, are the same. Um, I watched Ian Robson um, this morning, and he um, he was using the baler uh, the last, I think it was the episode yesterday's episode. And also, and uh, he has the massive, um, is it T8 um, New Holland? And he, um, the, it was struggling a little bit up some of the hills, and then I'm just a little bit um, worried our little same isn't going to be up to the job. Um, so I did, um, I was tempted to spread the straw, but um, I, I decided not to. I think we're going to have a bit of fun today with the bedding technology. Um, this thing is so slow. <laughs> Ugh, come on. Um, oh, I need to, I'm going to show you something. As you can see, I removed f the three trees um, and tidied up all the logs. Um, every, as you might have seen in that little sped up clip, um, I did make a little pile of the logs in the yard. You have to be really careful. If you've got this combine, be really careful coming down here. Yesterday, I was coming down here full speed and I sort of clipped that fence and went over the top of the fence, the header. And that's not a good time. Um, I did get stuck and I had to reset the header. Um, I've uh, been. Look, there's our little stack of, of wood right there. Um, 
but there's something else I want to show you, um, which I, I'm actually, I actually, I think it looks pretty good. Um, but now I've done it, I actually, I, <laughs> I want to put something else in where I've put the, uh, the little something, the little something, 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 something. Right. Look, um, I've got this little tip from uh, Landy Kid. If you point the pressure washer at the um, the logo, it I don't I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but it, it seems to wash the uh, your equipment the fastest. Um, but yeah, so if you look at the wheel now, look at the speed of which that dirt's going, and that works with nearly all the equipment I've tried it on, um, even weights. Point it at the front of the weight, um, that works really well. But I I, I really want to look after this. Um, combine it's it's our most prized possession and it deserves a wash and it's done two harvests of that one so that's about done there we go I did give the same and the green trailer a wash before I um, started working with it so I, I, I don't like um, having like half the equipment it's that trailer train we have now and um, the two trailers behind the same um, one, but no, the same and one of the grain trailers was dirty. <laughs> so before I attached the uh, the brand new trailer on, I had to wash it, um, or wash the uh, the tractor and the original trailer. Um, right, that can park. I, I've been parking this here simply because um, there's nowhere else to park it really. Um, the trailer keeps on like sliding off of the. Um, the header falls off, uh, slides off the header trailer, so the header trailer at the current time is pretty useless. Um, so, Giants, you need to patch that. Um, but it looks good, I really like the look of the header trailer. Um, so, I want to quickly go get the rest of the barley, of which we have in our store, because I don't like having a tiny bit. Um, I'm going to empty this here. It isn't the best tractor for this trailer train, is it? As you just saw, it does understeer quite a lot. Um, but we'll have a go. It seems to be doing a pretty damn good job, so I'm not complaining. Um, we've understeer. Nothing. It's not a problem. Um, how much do we have, actually? Let me have a quick look. We have 300. Oh, it's not even worth it. I re it's not worth it, guys. No, it, it was um, a 1.8 um, great demand at the grain elevator. So I got that sold straight away. We got 265,000 coins, which is the most we've had for quite a while. Um, but I, I want to get this um, bailing technology stuff, and then we need to uh, upgrade our tractor pretty damn soon. Um, so this is the little uh, T4 I believe, yeah T4. Um, I'm not planning to um, have this for very long, um, it, it's not going to serve much purpose. Um, one thing I do need you guys to tell, yeah and this, we came on one episode and this was glitched um, a little bit, now look at it, look at this, I mean we have to reset that and sell that because we don't really need it. Um, well, I've cut down on the trees that I think we need to cut down for a while. Um, so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna sell that and start preparing for um, the bigger equipment. We might even be able to afford some of that today. Um, but I think like today's episode is gonna be um, sort of pretty much dedicated to the bathing technology. Um, let's park these two traders here. There we go. Right, bailing technology. What's it gonna? Right. Um, where is forestry equipment? Oh no, I don't want to do that. Sorry. I. There we go. And then we go across. We need to find our. Ah, what's it in then? Do it. There it is. Reset. There we go. Okay, right. I, I like that it doesn't wash the equipment either. Um, I think in 2013, or I, I can't remember what gate. It might have been older. Oh, I just detached. Wait. Oh, it's not good. As we normally do, I'm going to go and drive and 
and park this in the store uh, in that little box simply because you get a little bit extra and extra is always better that's what I wanted to show you look at that guys perfect store area for trees that you know you didn't really have the time to cut up and uh, make a mess of um, it's nice flat so we can cut them up there when we have a bit of spare time and it's nice flat land so that um, when we get our front loader it will uh, doesn't have no hills or anything like that to you know mess about on um, so yeah um, I'm gonna go sell this maybe pick up the uh, trader so we can see how much we have we might um, buy what was I going to say I was going to buy? Oh yeah, front loader, that's what I was thinking of. But we'll have to have a look. I've, I know that they're quite expensive, um, so we'll have to have a think about it. We're going to have to, we're going to have, we might even have enough, guys. We're like, oh dear, why does the front weight keep falling? Gee, there we go. You know what? Let's go get the front loader as well. We'll, you know, we'll have a little bit of a tidy up of the yard. Um, this is a, a, a really nice tractor, actually, but... We haven't got no use for it to be honest. It was a, I really needed it for uh, moving those logs. The crane wasn't helping at all because um, they were some of them were quite small bits and they were all over the place. But so this little loader, you know, it served its purpose. We don't have to sell the front loader actually, do we? We can, you know, we can we'll store it at the store for now. If you get what I mean. So yeah, um, I haven't written down any comments because um, I, I normally read them, um, I check up on YouTube pretty much a thousand times a day, so I, I read the comments and there wasn't any of which were like questions or, or anything like that, so um, today's episode I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to wing it and come up with some stuff to talk about. <laughs> One of the comments which I'm seeing quite regularly in the comments now is I say um a lot and the reason why I say um that a lot is because I don't really try and follow a script I sort of blur words out and don't even think about it so so yeah that's why I say um a lot and I do apologize if it annoys anyone which it appears it does um, so yeah I do apologize a lot of you guys are saying about buying the stair um, so that could happen so yeah we, we can store that because we are going to hopefully buy a front loader tractor the New Holland pretty soon. Right, three pieces of equipment we can sell. So let's go ahead. 39 or 38, I didn't really pay attention to that. 336,000, that's a lot of money. Okay, so baling technology. We're going to go with the square bales as um, you don't have to stop, which annoys me. So that, we need the bale auto stack because I am not loading up bales every five seconds. Right. Let's go. Right, we have 200,000 coins. Keeper creepers. That's a nice bank, isn't it? That's nice. Load in the bank. Speaking of which, um, once we have bought, you know, the core equipment I think we're going to use and need, I'm going to start paying back that loan. As it, it's always playing on my mind. Um, but we might have to reset this. Um, I'm just going to see how how it goes because I don't think this is going to go up the hill very well. Oh, it's got a beacon on it as well. So I'm not going to. I'm going to try not to stop for the corners because I know this isn't going to go up this hill, as you can see. The speed rapidly decreasing. Oh dear God. Baylor, why are you so heavy? Oh. That isn't too bad, down to 10 miles an hour. Well done, little same. I didn't think it was going to manage it. Oh, it's a bit bit of a more increase of... Oh dear, come on girl. We need to give this tractor a name, and... I, I'm going to leave it to you guys. This tractor I'm never going to sell. I love this tractor. I'm so, so pleased. Giants per same into this game. Uh, the last decent same we had was back in 2011. Um, I think it was Ago that released it. It was the little, um, I think it was called an Iron. Um, I think it was called that. Um, so yeah. 
and I love those tractors. That well brick car, I was in my element. So there we go. I really do hope that well brick gets um, released for 2015. Uh, um, so yeah, right. Uh, what do we press? B, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Come on, girl, it's only a slight incline. We get to have a first look at these amazing bales that giants have given us. What's the decent speed for baling? I think you can go at like 20k while baling, I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, this will do, this will do for now. Maybe, I don't think it has a set speed um, for this. Come on, girl, she's struggling a bit. Four mile an hour. I'm just going to increase the speed to the health level. No. Split to 18. There we go. I love the look of these bells. Look at it. Ah. Was that? <laughs> Don't know what that was. It made us eat the bale. Yeah, around here will do. Seeing it, it's episode 13, we'll go at 13 mile an hour. This little same is managing. Look at her. In her prime. I swear that, um. I swear that. I've used this trailer before, um. And I swear it had a particle system. I swear it did. Um. Wow, I didn't notice that the bales come out like. Odd shaped as well. Look at that. I don't. I didn't mean odd shaped. I mean like at an angle. Is it glitching? Because it's sort of bounced then. Come on, go. You can manage it. I wish you could like um. I think they call it chipping, or they do it around here, um, where they increase the power of a tractor. I wish you could do that in this. This little same could do with a little bit more power. Whoa! Yep, it's glitching a little bit. You'll see it um, as it gets to the end of the uh, these metal sort of guider things. It, you'll see it bounce. So this trailer isn't 100%, you know. Fixed, but I I have heard that um, giants put out a little patch. Um, no one knows what it is. They didn't put a change log or anything, so still not sure on that. Um, come on, please don't glitch. I really do like the look of this baler. I'm so glad that they put a new Honda baler in. If we go. Ah, oh, that one came out normal. Good. Maybe it's just a one-off. But yeah, look at this guys, we're playing around with our new bailing equipment. But yeah, you guys need to decide what tractor next, what tractor should we buy. Well, we're, we're going to buy the T6, um, but I mean like powerful tractors. I'm just going to quickly stop this guy here. Now this is something I can't wait to, to get. <laughs> I want one of these by the time this episode, this series is finished. Um, if you remember back at the um, in 2013, this was my my baby. Um, back in the Chellington series, we're saving up for one of those. But yeah, you guys need to tell me. Um, it I think it's a clash between sort of these two of what we get because I I really like the look of these. I don't like the look of the big New Hollands. Um, I know a lot of people. Excuse me. Um, I know a lot of people like New Hollands, but I I love New Hollands personally. They're my favourite tractors, but I don't like the look of the T8. I, a lot of people were complaining that they didn't put T7 in because that that might actually be perfect for this. But I think they'll put that in in a DLC. Um, I personally think that it's just got a greater power. Oh, it has. Jeez. <laughs> See, that looks interesting. <laughs> um. So yeah, we. You see, this, I, I, I really like Case, um, 
We used to have them on the massive Arab farm I used to live on. Um, we had a lot of cave we went through it. I mean, they actually have a contract there now, so that uh, might be partly of one, of one of the reasons why I love contracts so much in case. But basically, I don't like dislike a, a certain brand. Um, I really love, I really like the look of pretty much every tractor, which is. <laughs> Like every brand of tractor, I mean, not like there is some ugly tractors and some brands, but you know, I'm not, I'm not fussy. Um, I love I love Same, I love Steyr. They're a bit of an odd tractor. We don't really see them in the UK. Um, that's why I think I like them so much. Um, New Holland, uh, the T7, obviously um, my favorite tractor, like of all. Um, I love John Deere's, um, I like some uh, Matty Ferguson's, um, and all the refs, Case I like, so I'm not fussy, um, everyone's raving that John Deere wasn't in the game, um, but I didn't really mind New Holland, um, they, they have an amount of decent tractors, as you can see, they, they have such a range of tractors, um, which, I, I know G John Deere do, but I think, I think they went like. I think they did it. Um, they chose the right, you know, brand of tractor to go with. So yeah, ha I wish this had a bale counter. Um, and you guys do need to tell me where we need to sell the bales. I I have no clue where we sell these. So I'm gonna have to stack them up somewhere until um, until we uh we uh know. But I think in this special episode this weekend, we're going to be um, have a whole series uh, episode of bailing um, and then stacking or whatever because um, you know it's something different, something new in the in our little farm. So um, you guys, and, and it, we'll have a bit of forestry. People are saying, you know, every episode I get a comment saying, uh, "Do more forestry, do more forestry." Um, but you have to remember this is a farming game, so a lot of people um, don't like the forestry side. Um, so I have to try and even it out a bit, which is very difficult. Um, I do a little bit of forestry each episode, but we will have those episodes where we're just full on forestry. We're going to go into um, buying that T6 uh, and the lorry trailer. Um, so yeah, not too long until we... We do a lot of forestry, guys, I promise. I do love this video, though. One other thing I did test, um, if you guys remember, last episode, I did ask whether you can drag whole trees into that pond, and I tested it, and you can. <laughs> it is amazing, I cut down two trees at the uh, right next to the pond, or the lagoon, whatever you want to call it, um, at the logging place, whatever it's called. Uh, I cut down two whole trees and just grabbed it and dragged it into the water <laughs> and uh, it worked so saved a lot of time and we got a bit of money for it, we got like 20,000 for each tree oh, let's try and speed it up, what? about 20 20 miles an hour But yeah, th having that new combine is amazing. It really is. I can get all of these fields harvested in about an hour, um, which used to take like two and a half to do all these to the little combine. That's why I didn't really like putting them on on the uh, like harvesting on on the on screen on camera. It just took forever. I didn't I don't really like doing like half a job and then leaving you guys. But sometimes it does have to be done. Uh, one thing you do have to do if you do have that big combine, um, I do suggest like see um, see there's like quite a hill there. He does fall down that. So what I do is do one passing like along that way, along the edge here, um, so he doesn't go that far back. As you can see, these ones end a bit a bit sooner than this one because this one he almost fell down the cliff. 
uh, at the end of the last episode, you might I didn't really notice until I finished recording, but he did fall down the cliff. So it's not fun trying to drive him through all these trees to get back. But I do know that there's not a bail counter, but I know you can go into the menu and find out. So once we finish this field, which we're pretty close to here, then uh, we'll have a look at it. And this is one also one step closer to getting cows, because obviously you need bailing equipment to um, do the cows. Right, so the menu I was thinking of is... But right here, so we created bales 13, so we got 13 bales off of this field. Um, I do know that you get, I think it's 16 bales um, out of, or onto the auto stack trailer. So yeah. But I think next episode we're going to buy that um, front loader and also the um, uh, lorry trailer. Um, uh, I am a little bit. Oh, you guys choose in the comments: new tractor or front loader and uh, lorry trailer. Because both are going to help. Um, so it's just up to you guys. You got. Um, if you do choose the um, a new tractor, then tell me what one you think: either Case or New Holland. Um, I know there's going to be a, a spree of people going for the New Holland, but personally I prefer the case. It's got a lot of more horsepower, um, which we we'll, might even need. Um, so, so yeah. Oh. Or, thinking about it now, um, if you guys remember, uh, I... Um, spoke about a uh, a lorry which uh, which is actually a mod and um, if I remember I'll put a picture up um, about now of that specific mod um, so tell me what you guys think do you reckon we should get an in-game lorry trailer or get that lorry and uh, that lorry trailer that comes in that pack um, if it I'll, I'll definitely download it and check it out um, if it is a you know, a decent price, then um, and everything is actually like legitimate on it, then it's not laggy or cause bugs or anything like that, then I will definitely probably use that um, just because then we don't need um, to take one of our tractors off of these jobs and put it onto another one, so so yeah but yeah, we're coming up to our 30 minutes um, also, if you if you look there, look, that's where the straw was. Um, if you look in the where the map is, there's a line of grass which has now disappeared. Does that grow back? Um, because that's where the straw's obviously gone. Um, it's like got rid of our grass, which I'm not too happy about. It's also done it on that side. Come on, little tractor. I think we are going to go for a, uh, a tractor, a new tractor next episode. Um, so I think we have to do another harvest off screen to get enough money for that. Um, but yeah, I I think what actually what I'm going to do now on screen for you guys is I'm going to pay back our loan, all of our loan because um, that's one thing I've really wanted to do um, because it does take off coins each day. So yeah, that's the loan is finally paid off and I'm pretty chuffed about that. I'm going to do a lot of work off screen to get enough money for probably the case. I think I'm going to go for the case. Um, everyone's got a new Holland so I am going to go with the case. Um, and then probably in the episode after that we're going to go for forestry work. But you guys, that means you guys can decide which um, person, which one of our workers gets the new tractor. Um, Jim has this one for seeding so does um, obviously Henry doesn't because he's on the combine. Do, do you, that means Clive gets it for either ploughing or cultivating, which we might even get a new plough. Um, that'd be quite cool. 
So yeah. So I'm going to finish up doing this bathing, do a load of work off screen. Um, I might even live stream it depending on what I'm doing later. Um, so um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you all in episode 14.